Okay, for this worksheet, it's going to be an abbreviated translation form. So this is what we did yesterday with the graph paper. Right, but this is the assignment for today. So we're going to be translating, sliding, moving, shifting each of these polygons, and they're going to locate somewhere in this middle area. Okay, so if you look at the representation of the numbers, you got large parentheses, and then you have two numbers stacked on top of each other. When you think physics, it's kind of referred to as vector notation. Okay, so look, here we go. So instead of you seeing this from Monday's assignment, this is the proper rule that you would get for translation. We're now in an abbreviated translation form. So basically you have a parenthesis and two numbers that are stacked on top, right? Like four, negative eight, three, negative five, 10, negative three, negative nine, negative four. Okay. The top number represents the X movement for the X axis. The Y, the second number, the bottom number, is the value for the Y shift. So up on the Y axis, you go up and down. Okay, so if the top number is positive, you shift to the right. If it's negative, you shift to the left. For the bottom number, if it's positive, you shift up. If it's negative, you shift down. So if I look here, so if I grab this one, it's negative nine, negative four. Since the top number is negative nine, I would go back nine units. And since the bottom number is negative four, I would go down four units. So I'm gonna take this shape and I'm gonna shift it back nine, down four. And it should be, it should land somewhere around here. Okay, so now here, yeah, so we're going to move the shape, move the polygon, shift, slide it according it to goes. these values that they give you. Okay. All right, so here's how you can get it done. You can pick any of these four corners. Say I choose this corner. And the only reason why I mark it is, that, is so that I don't forget that that's where I started from. You don't want to start here count it and then all of a sudden you draw it from this point because now your polygon is going to be off by right. Okay, so I'm going to, from this corner, I'm going to move, move back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and now it's negative four, so I'm going to go down four to eight. One, two, three, four, and so, oh, this paper is, um, I just realized it's kind of cut. Um, so I'm going to go back 9-4, that, this is the pre-image point, this is the image point. So now I need to do it for each of these. So you can go back 9, down 4, or you can really draw based off the length of the shape. So you notice it's one unit or one length up, one box length up, so it's here, so that's that corner. This corner is two down, two right, so two down, two right. That's this location, and then I'm going to move one unit up, and so, this is the pre-image, this is the image, and so some students are marking them as the movement, some students are crossing them out, or some students are using markers, however you want to distinguish, because you have to shift all of them. Um, I, like here's one with markers. Um, this, I don't, I have to, I'm gonna have to see which one I uploaded, but it should look like this. This one for some reason was copied slightly. Okay. okay, and that is what you're doing. So for instance, on this one, you would go right six units down nine. Here, you would go left 12 units down eight units. Okay, it's gonna spell a word two words actually in the middle. Okay. I had to do this video separately. I forgot to record yesterday, so I'm just talking to myself. Alright, have a good day.